settled in my section, we're ready to go. Yep. All set. Your name? Wom. Wom? Not very warm out right now. It's always nipping. Mary Hart was just sitting like right in front of me. Can I just say that the woman has never changed? Like she's made some sort of deal with Satan. She has not changed at all. We want to get up my camera. I'm not even sure she could be photographed. She'd be like a vampire. would just come up blank space. Shocking, really. Okay, I'll keep this down. Wom, your glasses look like a Broadway marquee. <laughs> Let me see that. Look at the look at the spark. <laughs> this way, sir. Fascinating. I need some of those. They light up so you can read in the dark. The Meridian. Step on it. I'm walking down 7th Avenue in New York City. God, it's good to be here. Where else do you see this? So I'm about to go to Liza's to interview her for the extra thing, and it's so weird. It's such a weird feeling because when you're very close to somebody, you've spent so much time with them. How do you begin? What do you do? Well, hello there. Well, hello there. Well, hello there. <laughs> well, hello there. I, I was just saying right before you turned this on, this is so weird because... I know you so well and so <laughs> intimately, and now it's it's just here we we're are. We're sitting here, yes. We are on the other hand. Just to, for a little levity, though, you should know we're not wearing any pants. <laughs> He's lying, but it's, it's, it's funny. It's, it's, <laughs> well, as long as it's funny, it doesn't long matter it's if it's true. Right, exactly. This first, this thing, this, this segment is called Six Degrees of Sam, which means <laughs> that you know we can trace back to me. With you, there's like zero degrees because we are we're so close. We've been through so many things together. Oh, really? as we say, the glitter, the, the glamour, glamour, the, the gutter. <laughs> <laughs> we have. I, I wanted to be an ice skater, and then glad that I didn't work out. Yeah, for all of us. Yeah, really. Um, but then I saw Bye Bye Birdie, and it changed my mind. And then I wanted to go on Broadway. And thank God there was no ice skating in Bye Bye Birdie, or we would have <laughs> completely lost her, lost her to the to the Olympics. What? But I wanted to be in the chorus. Of course, I wanted to have a couple lines. What? Sure. Not just the chorus. Yeah, you wouldn't have the most important. Line. Yes, that's right. <laughs> in the chorus. Right. <laughs> now, the last time you did the palace was yes. Manelli and Manelli. Yes. You're a very different person now than you were going into the palace last time. Well, I have two new hips. <laughs> Literally, you're that in the palace by flesh and blood. <laughs> <laughs> Opening night, you were terrified. Yes, I had a throat operation. And I was really frightened about singing again. So I said, Sam, please, will you sit in the first row and just tell me what, I mean, if we I... We had a whole code worked yeah. out. Oh, ah, uh, whatever, yeah. you know. Open it up, you know, yeah, right. listen, the pitch, is that everything. And my eyes knew exactly where Sam was, right? So I come on, and I'm scared. And I get to the, the front of the stage, and I say hello, and I go, I could show the world how to... And I looked down at Sam, and he went... Yeah. <laughs> Normally I'm like, confidence, like, you can do it. And this time I was like... <laughs> <laughs> but it, but it no, was this year and this year. And no. then two seconds later, you were on your feet and you were doing it. But it was that scary. Yes, but in that two seconds, a I, had, I, I knew that I was going to raise dogs <laughs> on a farm in Connecticut. Right. And quit I had show the business. whole yeah, and quit it. That was it. I was in yeah. the show business. Well, and I understand. I had that experience when I did Pippin. I was, and it was the opening number. <laughs> yes. And I did not want to dance. Unlike you, I did not want you to dance. You dance great. Well, thank you. It's it's not my most natural thing. Yes, it is. He's lying. Well, I, it's, I have to really work at it. And it was the opening number, and I actually thought of you, um, because I started, I, first of all, I, we're in the dark, and I realize I don't have my hat. The whole show is about a hat. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what am I going to do? How am I going to do? And then I literally went up, and I just started showing off and just started posing and doing the character, mm -hmm. because I literally forgot the choreography for for, you know, five seconds. Yes. In those five seconds, your life I had passes quit, in front of I had quit show yeah. business forever. Why did I ever do this? And why am I torturing <laughs> these poor people? You know? Yes. So yeah. now, you're opening at the palace. Yes, and I can dance again, and my right. throat's fine, and everything's it's good, and I'm, I'm doing all of this wonderful stuff about Kay Thompson. You've been wanting to do this for as I've been long working as I've known on this you. two years. Yeah. But you've been talking about wanting to sing songs of, of Kay's, and also... 
doing something about Kay for a very, very long time. Yes. You've said before, my mother gave me my drive, my father gave me my dreams. What did Kay give you? Everything else. Mm -hmm. Including different dreams. Okay. What and a different mean? kind of drive. And a different perspective on life. You know, people always ask, because I never talk about myself on stage. I really don't. Right, I, I, know, I, talk, I, I say the dialogue that Freddie would write for me, and it was always wonderful, but that was his version of life. It was through your songs that you yes. imparted anything personal, and it was still a character. It was always a character. Right. It still is right. always a character. Sure. Uh, I mean, I know what color the girl's hair is, if I'm seeing coming from the rain, for instance. Her wet Where hair. she lives. No, his wet hair. He's outside. Oh, right. I'm inside. Okay. <laughs> Singing while he's getting wet. No, in Come, in. Come in! <laughs> Come in from and yeah. <laughs> But not yet. But not yet. I've got another bridge. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the bridge! <laughs> you know, I think that when you say you've never talked about yourself on the stage, mm -hmm. and of course you've been doing this for a long time, and you are... You're, you're part of American culture. You know, that's why this is also odd for me, because this is my friend that I eat on Chinese food with on the bed while we're watching CSI, okay? But then, you know, and of course I don't forget what you do, but then when I see you do what you do, and it reminds me, oh my God, this force, this thing. And yet, as this much thing? as... as Well, not in the nicest way. Positive. Um, yeah. As much as people think they know about you, they, you haven't talked that much about yourself. And, and it's interesting that through this show, through talking about Kay, you are revealing more about yourself than you ever had before. Yeah, I know Don't that, but I'm, I'm nervous about it. Oh, but I'm, it's I'm beautiful. Not nervous. I'm, I'm, but in order to tell about her, I have to tell about what you. she did to me and but how see, she helped that's me. The gift. And, and the gifts that she gave me. She's got a show of songs <laughs> and of stories about Kay. But is, are there any stories that aren't in the show? Like do, the fabulous story. Can you tell the story about? Um, the, the, when you were so scared about your voice and she taught you what, the vocal lesson? That's not in the show now, is it? No. Can you tell that? Sure. Um, I love it when you tell stories I love. No. <laughs> All right, who shall I tell it to? You? Or tell it to them. Your friends. Our friends. Our friends? If you can tell it to me, I don't care if you tell it to me. I'll tell it to you both. Okay. All right. I was going through a period where I really thought I couldn't sing well. I was not singing well. I hated the way I was sounding. I was on Broadway, just doing it again over and over and over. I came home one day and I said, Kay, I'm flatting all over the place and sharpening at it. I can't find the center of the note anymore. Mm -hmm. And she said, to the piano. So off we go to the piano, mm -hmm. right? And she to hits the a piano. note. To the piano. <laughs> exactly. She hits a note. And she said, this is note, and the one next to it, and this is note. Then she hit the crack, and she says, this does not exist. I said, oh, because that's what I was saying. Yeah. She said, sing this note. Change. So it, change. She said, no, change. It's a kickoff. It's like a football. Change. Right? right. So we worked on the word change for a long time. And then the next word. And then the next word. And the next word. Each word we worked on for at least 10 minutes. So I didn't really, you know, I always think about the words when I'm singing. Right. For the first time in my life, I didn't think about the words. I was trying to hit the notes the way she wanted it. It was about the sound of the vowel, because yeah. you were saying about yeah. your voice. Just <clears throat> how to find a certain, she was so brilliant the way mm. she talked, because she taught everybody. Right. You know? And so the whole exercise was done. And I go off, you know, to change clothes, to go out to dinner with her. And I'm washing my hands, and I look in the mirror, and I want to see if I've got the right shape of the, you know, my mouth. And I... I sing what she has taught me, and what she taught me was this, and these were the words she taught me that I was singing. Change the belief, and the symptoms change. Destroy the belief, and the symptoms disappear. Ooh. And it was just great. Change the belief, and the, and the symptoms, symptoms change. change. Destroy, Destroy belief, belief, and the symptoms disappear. That's a life lesson. Oh, I'll say. And how she about... She did that every minute, but, though. But that's, that's what's so wonderful, is that she didn't do it because, listen, I'm going to tell you something. No, never. You discovered it in your own way, when you could take in the information. And she taught it to me in a way I could understand, too. Right. You know? You know, I had a realization recently. Oh, I'll good. tell you, I'll tell you. <laughs> 
Well, okay, Liza, in your dressing room, before, mm-hmm. first of all, right before, if I may, right before Liza goes on stage, you are super concentrated. Mm-hmm. Super, super concentrated. But a few minutes prior to that, in the dressing room, it's life goes on as life goes on. And you know, she always makes fun of me because I'm like, home. <laughs> you know, we've got to stage the room and someone has to like do bells and you know, I, I take it way too seriously. And I'm saying, you know, James are Italian. What are we going to do after the show? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> no, exactly. That's the way you are. And I've always been amazed how in your dressing room we can just be talking and blah, 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 blah. oh, I'm on, okay. And go! And it always amazes me. Well, Cooper, my yes. little boy, Aunt Eliza. <laughs> um, I know. So I, he was in my first dressing room. Now, he usually goes to d- down by the time there's a show, but this was an after the matinee thing. So he was in my dressing room. <laughs> so there's a baby in there. So I'm playing, and I'm Googling, and I'm doing, and I'm and bottling. And you grew up, it's going to up like me. Exactly. And mm-hmm. then it was like, oh, I've got to go on stage, and this is what I do. This is what I do now. It's not what I do. <laughs> yes, I'll be right back. Exactly. I'll be right back. That's exactly what it was. But in fact, I said step, that. I'll be right back. You step into a pair of shoes that belong to... Your talent yeah. on stage and your talent as far as your artistry goes. Mm-hmm. You step into them and you go on. Yeah. And you utilize those shoes and you be who you are on stage and who you've been taught to be by the very best. Well, and I've been taught by you too. So I use all of that. Then you get off the stage and you step out of the shoes right. and say, let's go have a hamburger. Into some slippers. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're bare feet. Right. To me, you know that. I realize. I'm not fancy. No. I've never been fancy. No. And we grew up with parents who that's what they did for a living. Yeah. I'll be right back. They go on. They do their thing. They come back and life resumes. It's not something that, uh, yes, it's sacred because we take it seriously because we, it's our heart and soul. Yeah, but, but it's, it's not a shock. No, it's not a shock. No, it's not a shock. Right. It's the thing we've oh, prepared Broadway to do. Although Broadway is so different than anything I grew up around. Mm-hmm. I grew up around movie sets and, and things sure. like that. And people worked, worked very hard. My parents left every morning at, you know, 6 o'clock. And they didn't come home till 6.30 or 7. Every day except Sunday. Just one day off. Wow. That's a lot. And we were on schedule. But you also, uh, when you got a little older, though... By then, How much? Right? <laughs> a little. <laughs> then, then also, you were also in dressing rooms and backstages and concert places when your mom was doing that, and that's where sure. you learned, that's where you were first singing live, right? And I, you know, when I was with my dad all the time at the studio, right? You know, both of them. So, you no, know, the first time I sang live, my mom didn't come to a rehearsal in Las Vegas. She said, "You do the sound check," so I did. Really? Yeah. It was, You've never told me that. When you have a good friend, you don't sit around and think about your history and your past. You just are. And so knowing that we were going to do this, and I was thinking about the the giant elements of my life, and the things that we've been through together, um, we've been through thick and thin. We've both been thick and we've both been thin. (laughs) (laughs) And now I'm thick and you're thin. (laughs) Because I've got... That's thick. Oh, it's thick. It's the baby weight. (laughs) I keep joking, but something (laughs) happens. I'm telling you. I don't know what it is. It's from not sleeping. Anyway, we've been through so many, through so many successes and, and, and fears and ups. And downs. I learned about 9-11 from you. I had moved to Los Angeles the day before from New York, the day before, September 10th. It was the first person I called. Yeah, it was happening on the news, and you yeah. called me, and my phone kept ringing. And I'm like, what's happened? Because it kept ringing. It was, you know, 6 to 5, 30 in the morning, whatever it was. And that was our moment together, watching that in silence on the television. Well, at first I was like, yeah, I thought it was Tower and Inferno. Exactly. I, I thought it was a movie. And I, well, I said, that. It was like, what and TNT I, movie are you watching? Yeah, I, I said, change all the channels. Yeah. And you did, and it's on all the things. We, we had that. Yeah. We've had we, marriages, divorces, ups, downs, downs, ups, all kinds yeah, of things. Yeah, the glitter, the glamour, the And the gutter. <laughs> and, um, and we're both sober. Yeah. We're both sober. And it's an odd word, because I don't think anybody understands the way we use the word sober. How do you mean? Because sobriety. For us, they don't understand that that is a clinical disease. Mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of people don't believe that. All they have to do is look it up. And it that, is. That it matter. just is. But what people mm-hmm. believe and what people don't believe is really up to them. No, I'm just, just telling you that sobriety means joy, clarity, Honestly. and freedom. A freedom. Totally. The freedom. You know, that's... Nothing, nobody's got anything on you, and nothing has a hold of you. You are ready, and there for your life, and you show up for yourself. 
You show up for your mm-hmm. sobriety means not not bearing secrets. Yeah. Sobriety means honesty. Sobriety means doing the next right thing. Yeah, that's all you have to do. It's the next right thing. Uh, oh, but, hey, let's. I love you. I love so you so much. much. <laughs> and I'm going to be there tomorrow, and I'm going to watch some of this rehearsal. Thank you. Yeah. Goodbye, you guys. Goodbye. We Thanks for you. listening, you guys. Thank you. I do. I love, I love you so much. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See ya. Mm-hmm. I love you. I love you. So here I am at the Chelsea Studios rehearsal where I'm a, we're about to shoot some of uh, Liza Minnelli's rehearsal for her upcoming show, Liza's at the Palace. And I'm seeing everybody in the world that um, I know. The boys that are singing and dancing with her, they're all fantastic. And this is so exciting. And this is my first crew. I have a crew here from Extra. It's very, very strange. Very strange. Take away the press. They're about such things. to leave and I'm having a massage because I'm so stressed out. So here I am having some Russian woman stick her elbows in my back and my neck. It was a good trip. Liza was fantastic. New York was gorgeous and beautiful. It was in and out. It was great. I had a great time. I love New York.